to filter. I'm Diane Mizoda. We're down to the last three spots on our countdown of the best party games of all time. But before we wrap up, let's catch up. Here's a quick recap. The series is back, and it's back in black. Twisted Metal Black kicks off the countdown at 10. Tennis 2K2 lands a swift backhand across its competitors' faces with a ninth place showing. You weren't splitting hairs. Time splitters two rocks and deserves every bit of an eighth place finish. Can I get a hell yeah for the weapons? Soul Calibur grabs the seventh spot. Bounce when they bounce with me. A second servant of Super Monkey Ball finishes in sixth. And in fifth place, ain't no party like a Mario Party. And the best kind of Mario Party is a Mario Party 4. Scratch that. It's a Mario Kart 64 coming in at four. Let's put Mario on ice for a second and make our way to one of the coolest games ever. Hello, Halo. Halo is a great party game because it's probably one of the, probably the first shooters besides Goldeneye Perfect Dark that people just kind of sat back and went, holy cow. Halo is uh, definitely one of the best first-person shooter uh, multiplayer games. Uh, they have lots of different modes, lots of different maps, and uh, we still play that in the office to this day. Uh, Halo comes in at number three, but I think it should be number one. It's the first game that incorporates a lot of co-op. It's fun screaming at each other, but it's also fun working with, e with each other, and when you get tired of working together, then you can just jump onto the multiplayer attack mode, and that's fun too. It's the kind of game that can leave you fighting over joystick rights. But if you can't get in on the Halo action, then check in with some of these gems, which barely miss the top ten. We like to call them the filter down. Some of the games that I think should be on the list that aren't on there are like, um, you know, the basketball games, the fun uh, NBA Street, for instance. That's a great game to play with, with a bunch of friends, and, uh, and I love that game with a bunch of friends. One great game to have at a party that's not on the list is, you know, any of the Madden games. You get a bunch of guys together. You know, after the Sunday games, you plug it in, just, you know, get rowdy, scream, cheer. You get a four-player game, you pass to your friend, he messes up, you're going to not talk to him for a week. You know, it's just something that brings people together in, you know, such a great way. I think Worms Armageddon should have been on this list because it's the greatest party game ever. Like me and my friends would be, uh, play the game for hours on end, uh, blast each other away. The loser would go get fast food while we play again. And usually it was the one friend that always lose and he'd always be our little delivery guy. So it was great. I still play now. complicated and it's good for brothers, sisters, fathers, 
enemies, whatever. It's fun to play. You can pick up baseball bats, you can pick up a light gun, a laser gun. You can throw bombs and you know, pokeballs and Pikachus in there. And it's, it's just brilliant fun. <laughs> Between Super Smash Bros. Melee and GoldenEye 007, I have to give it to GoldenEye because people still play that game today. And I know people who really aren't even into games who like 007. It's really simple and that anyone can just like pick up the weapon. Everybody knows how to play it. Everybody has played it. Everybody who's ever been in college has played it. Everyone who's younger has played it. It's just. You know, it's the multiplayer game that you want to play. I mean, that is the ultimate party game of all time. So, which should you go with? The star-studded cast or the studly badass? Both games have reason enough to be the number one choice. However, the polls were closed, your votes were counted, and your choice for the best party game of all time is... The melee is the party way. Well, that wraps up this episode of Filter. Remember, the opinions expressed on the show are yours, not mine. So make your vote count on future episodes by logging on to the Filter show page at g4tv.com slash filter. Until then, I'm Diane Mizoda, and I'll see you next time.